Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to cover uh, installing the Yak Power uh, wiring system. I'll go through how I'm setting it up, where I'm installing uh, the components. Um, the other thing I'll be adding is a uh, Biano Power uh, 30 amp hour battery to uh, power everything up. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to install that, where I'm going to place it, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. So I ended up picking up Yak Power's um, wiring system. Uh, this one is what they call their Sirius um, complete system. It comes with three of these power ports. Uh, I think there's two eight foot uh, long corded ones and one four foot one. Um, a fused link um, power, I believe that's for your battery. Um, and then uh, three other connectors uh, to, to attach to your components. They're uh, 12 volt uh, relay switching system where everything basically ties into this unit here. Um, you supply it with your main power and then uh, it distributes the uh, power to each of your component which is controlled uh, by this five switch uh, panel so uh, you can um, attach up to uh, five components or at least five uh, switches anyways and it has a main power on off with it um, as I alluded to in the uh, um, previous video they don't uh, Yak Power doesn't have any uh, white light jet, they just have the uh, blue and green setups, but they are coming out with a 12 millimeter uh, button style um, LED light uh, in white. I'm not sure if they're coming out with other colors or not, but I know they're coming out with white. But unfortunately, I don't know the timeline on that, so I'm going to go back to these, which I installed on the uh, my Dune version. Uh, they're working out well, uh, they're not that much uh, problem to install, so I'm going back to that. Um, the other thing is, uh, I'm going with a USB port which will tie into the system. I'll show you how that all gets wired in. Uh, everything's, uh, the switch uh, is going in here and the USB is going into the, the uh, bucket. Uh, we'll see how that works out. And then here's the mess of all the um, wires from the Laurent system. So stand by and let's get this stuff done. First thing we want to do is we want to drill out the hole to install the uh, switch panel in the bucket. Um, install the uh, switch panel as low as you can in the bucket. Um, so that you can drop it, uh, so the bucket can drop in and out. If you, uh, if you place it up too high, you're not going to be able to get the bucket in because it'll interfere as you're trying to drop it in. So we'll get that down in there, um, and the next thing we'll do is we will um, drill out the hole for the USB port. So we'll get that in there as well, get that set up. So I thought I would save you from watching me drill more holes and uh, so I just went ahead and did it and uh, this is what the install looks like. Uh, there's the switch panel, a USB port right beside it. I'll show you how everything gets wired up in a minute. But uh, yeah, the bucket just, just slides in. Drop it in, away you go. It's in nice. Pull out, and she comes out. So, it still gives you access in there to that mess. Alright, next thing we're going to do is uh, I'll show you where the uh, 
Yak Power Relay Switching System box thing goes. So I'm kind of limited to where I can put the uh, relay switching system uh, by the length of the uh, cord from the switch panel. Um, in order to have the um, uh, bucket come in and out, uh, I've got to attach the switch panel to the bottom of it of this uh, because I've got a limited length in this cord. I'm hoping they decide to come up with an extension uh, cord uh, so that you can place the relay box somewhere else away from uh, the switch. I mean, I guess depending on where you're putting it, if you've got a permanent mount somewhere, you, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, the way I'm setting it up, uh, I, uh, I need a longer cord if I were to put it somewhere else. So this will work. Um, the hole on the PA uh, has a it has room underneath the uh, bucket, so uh, it'll fit in. Let me give you a show right here. A little hard to manipulate the cords with one hand, but we can get her done. So, bucket drops in, switch panels down there, hatch closes. So, that'll work. So this is how we are going to uh, wire up all the Lorentz uh, units. This goes to the uh, 3D structure scan module, um, positive, negative. And then there's the yellow wake-up call. The wa yellow wake-up call has to have power as well. So we're going to tie um, the uh, yellow to the, all the positives. Um, we're also going to tie in the uh, power to the point one system. And we're also going to tie in the power to uh, the, the Lawrence... Um, HGS Carbon 9 as well. So all our power to all the Lorentz units are going to go on one single switch. So when I start things up, it'll power everything up at once. I'll keep it simple that way rather than have multiple switches and worry about that. And then of course everything's just grounded the same. So we'll just uh, tie it in with the uh, Yak Power power plug, which will go to the Yak Power um, system. So here we have it. We have all the uh, Lorentz 3D structure scan uh, components uh, tied together. Uh, the power for the uh, Lorentz carbon, the point one, and the structure scan uh, module are all tied in to the one plug, which will go into the number one plug of the Yak Power uh, system, power module. So we gave her a little test, everything's fired up, works well. So now we'll move on to the next part of our wiring. Okay, the next thing I've got to install is a power port. Uh, I'm going to install two of these and I'll show you the other one later where it's going. But this one is going right at the back of the kayak, uh, right below here. This one's going to serve two purposes. Uh, one will be to uh, power the uh, Burley Pro orb for my 360 all-around light. Uh, when I'm not using that, I'm also going to use it as the port to power the um, uh, power pole micro anchor. I was debating whether I was going to uh, run uh, a power cord for the power pole micro anchor or not, um, or just uh, have it strictly use the battery on this kayak. Um, that was my thought at first. Uh, yesterday I had a tournament. I went to the tournament, packed everything up, uh, got ready, and I realized that the one thing that I forgot was the battery for the power pole. 
unfortunately on the other kayak I, I hardwired it as well as a backup and uh, I needed it so uh, that's what I'm going to do with this one I'll, uh, I'll modify the cable so that uh, it'll just plug into the power port and uh, I can store it in the kayak wherever and uh, have it available should I need it hopefully uh, I won't but just in case might as well have it the power port installed put the cover on it it's ready to go now all we gotta do is plug the other end into the act power controller our next power port goes right back here this is where our battery is gonna plug into to give us our source of power to the yak power system alright so our power source is coming from the bioano power battery. It's a 30 amp hour uh, what is it? A lithium ion phosphate battery. Um, they weigh a lot less than the lead acid. This one weighs uh, 8 pounds I think it's rated at. Uh, which if we were to go lead acid with uh, 30 amp hour it would be a lot more than that. But uh, none of that. But uh, with the lithium batteries uh, you, you, you get your, your 12 volt power uh, right until she's running right down where um, lead acids they typically depending on what stats you go by um, they run down after about 50 anywhere from 50 to 80 percent I guess they say so uh, uh, these will give you a lot more usable power anyways I've got um, the bio -anal the power 20 amp hour on the other uh, pro angler and I've run I did a tournament with one yesterday with it yesterday I ran the uh, Lorenz Elite uh, 9ti all day I think it was uh, seven hours with uh, the Wi-Fi on while charging the um, iPad uh, and running sonar charts live and uh, when I got it back home and threw it on the charger, it was still uh, showing uh, over 50% uh, left. So I'm impressed with them so far. Here's a quick, quick view. The um, OE3 through haul wiring kit installed. Wires going through. There's a plug that plugs into the Viano power battery. And then this will go into the power port that we installed on the kayak. I got up our force holes drilled to uh, mount this to the H crate. We'll put our screws in before we put all the uh, stuffing back and get everything ready. Here we go. We got the battery in the Pelican case uh, mounted to the H crate and uh, all plugged in. Just going to leave that extra connector there just in case for future you never know it's not hurting anything it'll be sealed in the case so I'll close it up and we'll see what it looks like there it is all installed on the H crate um, all ready to go all we have to do is take our plug and plug it into our power port That brings power to the Yak power system. So let's test it out and see if we got power. We have power. Uh, this is powering the uh, USB right now, so we'll see what happens there. There we go. Power. Shut everything off. Just hit our little power icon. There we go. All right, that's going to cover the uh, Yak Power install. Um, all in all, 
it went uh, fairly easy. It's a fairly easy system to, to install. Uh, pretty well plug and play for most stuff. You got to solder a few things here and there, but uh, compared to my previous kayak with the Dune uh, and the Marine switch panel there, it um, a lot less to, uh, soldering and connecting to uh, to make that way. Um, the one thing that I covered earlier that uh, I wish they will do they they would do is to make a longer cable for the switch uh, panel the uh, switch panel to to the control module or at least uh, give you an option to purchase a longer cable for that uh, so that you can uh, put the switch panel in one location and uh, move the uh, the box somewhere else. Uh, I was able to get around that by installing the uh, box right underneath the uh, hatch uh, bucket so that, that's working out that way but uh, if I had the option I would have went with a longer cable and I probably would have put the um, uh, control module up front where the uh, Lorentz 3D structure scan uh, module is. Um, but other than that, uh, I, I made a few little modifications just to fit my needs, but uh, it works well. They supposedly coming out with a USB port uh, for it uh, as, as an option as well. Uh, I had one floating around, so I just made up my own system for that. Uh, that'll pretty well much. That'll pretty well cover uh, the install. I still got a few things left to do on the kayak. I've got uh, the anchor trolley to put on. I have uh, the uh, power pole micro anchor mount to put on, and the anchor wizard mounts to put on. But I already covered those on the Dune version, so I won't bore you with that again. I've uh, got a couple other things uh, that I'm waiting for. Um, Mighty Mouse uh, maybe uh, coming to the front hatch cover. There might be a slight change in that. We'll see how that's working out. And uh, I'll follow up later on on the water uh, running the Lorentz HDS uh, uh, carbon with the 3D structure scan and give you guys an idea of how that's working out. Thanks for watching.